Hello everyone, welcome to another video. My name is Wellington Oliveira and today I'm going to teach you how to make a cell phone stand just like this one here. This origami is very easy to do and all you need to make it is one sheet of paper. I'll start with a harder sheet of paper to make it sturdier at the end. First of all, we need to fold in half. So just bring one side to the other and make a crease. Now, on the bottom side, we need to bring both halves to the middle, creating two new diagonal folds. First this one, and then the other. Undo both, and repeat the same step with the top, just bring this half to the middle, and then repeat with the other. This time we need to keep folded. Now, in the part that is left, we have to fold the sides until the last fold, as in this image. First this one, and then the other. Right, now let's fold the bottom side up. Just use the existing line as a reference and bring the paper up. Unfold, open the top side, fold again, and turn the paper over. Here are all the lines we have made so far. So, for the next step, we'll have to fold by connecting top corners to the point where the lines intersect, just below. First, the right side. Try to do more accurate as possible. This is the result. Now do the same with the other side. The next step is very similar, but now we'll have to connect the middle from the bottom to the same points and follow the line all the way to the edge. Let's start with the right side again. To make it easier, first fold connecting the points and then fold the rest. The right side is done, let's repeat the same with the other, again more accurate as possible. And turn the paper over. Let's fold the corner up, connecting these two points here. Then, using the existing crease, fold in half. Now, to fit, bring one side down and place the other on top. Now, rotate. 
keep the lines one on top of the other. And fold what is left inside. Reinforce and fix a little bit, if necessary. And our origami is ready! As you have already seen, works equally well both vertically and horizontally. And that way it was made. It's pretty sturdy. It lasts a long time. But if you want it to be easier to store, you can still fold the corners of the front. and then fold the front part in half, closing the paper like this. In my opinion, this is the best way, because when you unfold, when you open, the paper still retains a lot of resistance. But if you prefer, you can keep the front corners closed, and fold the side in half. This is also a good way. And with that, you have the shape of a perfect triangle. This is a model that is easy to do once you have practice and can be very useful. And that's it. I really hope you liked this model and liked this video. Thank you very much for watching and I see you next time.